What's going on guys? Danny Lanier Lawn Care and I've had a lot of people ask me to do a video on this. So we're going to show you some examples and then I'm going to take you to some actual mulch beds and I'm going to show you exactly how I would personally go about measuring these. So we're going to show you a couple different ways to get your measurements, tell you how much mulch is going to cover so you know the next job you go measure you're not going to be over or under on mulch you should be right at it so let's jump into this video hopefully this helps you if you're new to the channel feel free to hit that subscribe button we got plenty more videos coming your way so let's jump into this all right guys so we're going to show you measure a triangle we've made this pretty much easy simplified for you just to give you an example let's say you measured from the center of your triangle up to the center up here so you measure from the center to here let's say this is 10 foot okay <clears throat> so this is 10 foot this is 10 foot so now you take your 10 foot multiply by your 10 foot which is going to give you your hundred divide that once again by two and that's going to give you 50. hopefully this helps with your triangle let's move to a circle and show you how easy a circle is so here is the diameter 10 foot completely across so we want to take half of that which is five five is our radius of this we're going to take our radius which is five we're going to multiply it by itself which is five so you got five times five 25 times pi the circumference of a circle 3.14 which is going to give you 78.5 now depending on how much mulch you want to lay in this area if you want to lay one inch of mulch or four, let's say you want to lay four inches of mulch which is going to do around 81 square feet well you're going to take that 78.5 divide it into that 81 square foot and that's going to tell you how much mulch you need which is pretty much right at a yard now let's say you wanted to lay it at two inches. Okay, well two inches, you're gonna take two inches of mulch is going to cover say 135 square feet. You're gonna take that 135 and you're gonna divide into the 78.5. That's gonna tell you how much mulch you need for this area. So if you wanted to cover three inches, which is gonna cover at a, a one cubic yard, three inches depth, roughly 108 square foot. If you wanted to do three inches in this, you would take the 78.5 divided by, divided into that 108, and that's gonna tell you how much you need to fill this three inches of mulch. So let's get into the easy stuff now. Let's get into the length times width, doing a rectangle, doing a, a square, things of that, and make this simplified. These are the hardest two right here that you're gonna run across but we'll get into a little bit more of this once we get up to the actual mulch beds and I'll show you exactly how I would go about doing these. All right, so now we're gonna go into rectangles and squares. These are gonna be the exact same. There's no difference between the two. So we're just gonna do one. I'll show you a square anyway, but let's say that this is our rectangle, okay? And let's say it starts right here at this line and we'll go, let's say it goes to three squares all right let's say it goes to here so this is where it ends so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to put my wheel now how this wheel works is it starts measuring from here where it's set down at okay so wherever you, if you set it down here and it's right here on the ground that's where it's going to start measuring from so that's where you would want to stop now i will tell you we'll, well i'll tell you in a minute so we're going to go ahead and measure this okay so here we go measure this 12 foot <clears throat> 12 foot and then we're going to start here and once again measure up our side and we're going to stop it right here because this is where our wheel measures to not here but it measures to here so this is four foot okay so we got four foot here and we got 12 foot here so that's four times 12 is 48 this is 48 square foot once again, how much do you want to use? How much mulch? Are you going two inches, three inches, divided into that? That's how much of a yard of mulch you're going to need to cover this. So let's go up here. Let's show you some real time uh, measuring and hopefully 
this is what's going to help you because these beds are totally crazy and i'm going to show you how i personally go about getting the footage for this the easy way there is <clears throat> all right guys so this is our personal flower bed and i just want to show you how it curves around and curves in here okay so this is this can be very how would you do this when you first start out that's what this is going to be about how would you measure this bed and i'm going to tell you how i would measure it and then we're going to go to this one and i'm going to show you real time and uh so let's show you this one first because this one can be very deceiving it can get in your head i'm going to show you how i do it all right so the first thing i'm going to do with this bed is since this curves around but it curves back in there i'm going to cut this off this completely off right here pretty much i'm going to cut this off and i'm going to act like i took this and i moved it down there that's going to make my bed more square okay all right so i'm editing this video and i feel like i'm not explaining this good enough on camera so i'm just trying to show you here exactly what i'm doing so this is pretty much our mulch bed and this is our house side this is what you see against the right wall there so i am taking this and i am going and i'm cutting this edge right here where this line is off and i'm moving it and turning it around and putting it in this spot kind of like a puzzle piece to make this bed become a rectangle and make it more easier to measure than keeping it the way it is. So the object of this is to make these beds simplified, make them a square or a rectangle, things of that nature in order to make them easier to measure. So hope this helps explain what I'm trying to explain in the video. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to where I need to go, which is here, and I'm gonna measure up to where I'm gonna cut it off at. So center of the wheel, here we go. Woo <clears throat> all right so i'm gonna cut it off about right here which is about seven and a half foot so then i'm gonna take that seven and a half and i'm gonna go from here and i'm gonna go all the way up to that pavement okay now here's what i'm doing is because once i get to that up there it's gonna butt up against it right here and it's gonna leave so this much is what i'm gonna be missing on measurement wise so in order to get that i'm going to back my roller up and make this part right here level with where i measured out to and then when i measure up to there well i just didn't i just made up for that space so we got seven and a half we'll come up to here and i'm gonna go straight through my flyer bed hopefully my wife don't watch this <clears throat> Uh, uh. All right, now we're going to measure all the way to here and stop. All right, 24. 24. 24.9 pretty much. So we're just going to say that's 25. 25 foot, 7.5. Multiply. Okay, 25 times 7.5, 187.5. Then you're going to take that and you're going to divide it by how much mulch do you want to put in this area three inches well three inches is 108 you want to do four inches four inches is going to get you 81 you want to do two inches two inches is going to get you some people is going to tell you around 140 135 somewhere around in there i like to just say 135 i'd much rather have a little bit more than less so we're going to say 135 Divide that into the 187.5, and that's what you how much mulch you're going to need to cover this area. But Danny, what about these curves? Guys, don't overthink it. Make it into just make it into a big rectangle, okay? So you want to go all the way back here? Well, measure from there, which you probably have to move the plant. But let's say I'm going to go to here, all right? Because this is what my, my rectangle is going to be, here to there. All right, so I'm going to measure one big rectangle. I'm going to start out here. I'm going to go in. This is where I would pretty much stop. Three foot, exactly. Wow. Three foot. 
Now I'm going to take where I stop. And I'm going to go in. Okay, three foot. Woo, 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 woo. Here we go. Nine times three is 27. This is 27 square foot. Okay, now we got this part. So we want to measure this. Here's where the problem comes in. Is there's barely any going in there. So it's not going to really matter when you measure. But if it goes significantly back under the house a little bit, you're going to want to come out a little bit with your measuring wheel. <clears throat> what I mean by that is if this is the edge of the flower bed on the inside right here, the edge of the sidewalk, then I'm going to start my wheel to where when I look down it, that's going to be the edge of it because my wheel starts measuring from here. But if I start measuring from here and I measure to that wall, well, guess what? I just hit that wall. Well, what about that little extra that's underneath? I didn't get it. Now, this is really not too much of an issue. Regardless of how you measure this, you're probably going to have enough to cover it. So it's really not something to significantly worry about, I would say. So I'm going to come out from here, put my wheel here, okay? And I'm going to measure out to the edge of my rock. Woo, 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 woo. All right. So we got four foot from here to the edge of my rock, four foot. All right, now I'm going to take and I'm going to go from here, which is where I want to measure from, right? This is this is my area. Four. I'm going to run straight down. And I'm going to stop it right here at the edge of this house. This is 12 foot exactly. It kind of worked out. I'm going to stop it right here at the edge of this house because this is my rectangle. Okay, four times 12, 48. 48, then you got this area, which was, uh, what, three times nine, 27. So you got the 27 plus the 48, write these down, write them down, add them together as we go. Okay, then we got this. All right, so this curves around a little bit. Guess what, no problem. We're gonna start like we normally would. We're gonna go all the way to the back of our wall. <clears throat> Make sure you reset your wheel like I didn't do. Start all over, all right, here, to the back of our wall. Boom. Eight foot, eight foot there. Then we're gonna measure from here to here, okay? It's simple, run our wheel up, five foot. There's 40, okay? There's 40 more square foot. So 40, 48, there's 88 plus the 27. 115 square foot for this area right here. If you were to do it at three inches deep, that's gonna give you a cover right around 108 square foot. Well, that's pretty much gonna be one yard of mulch you're gonna need for this. That's what I would order. If I was going to do this one area, I would do it a little thicker and some, you know, I would just spread it a little thicker and I would get one yard of mulch. I'm not gonna order, uh, I need 0.85, like I just order the yard of mulch and uh, it's close enough. One yard of mulch to cover this. It's gonna take care of you. You're gonna have a little bit left, which is, hey, nothing wrong with that. Throw it in there, make it a little bit higher and, and you know, just cover it, the bed a little bit higher. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I really hope this video helped you out. This is how I personally would measure mulch beds like this. I hope this helped you. I hope it's hard for me to kind of explain things. It's easier for me to just do it. Uh, but I hope I explained it well enough for you. The next mulch job you have, you go out and measure it with confidence. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I will see you in the next one.